have had some technical problems. Problem, problem. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're live. Welcome, everybody. Happy Friday. We're, we're so excited to be here. We are. We're so excited to be here with you today. <laughs> today, we're covering a topic that a lot of you guys have been waiting for for a long time. Too long, but it's here, guys. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that long. Uh, the Generation 3 IP joystick's been out for quite a while, and we're really excited about it. Everyone seems to be really happy with this low latency controller. We're going to show you guys how to upgrade your existing Gen 1 and Gen 2 joysticks to Gen 3. We're so happy to be able to finally bring this new feature to you. We're going to show you exactly why you might want to upgrade your uh, current Gen 1 or Gen 2 joystick. And uh, sorry, I was playing with the joystick there. Um, the PT Joy G3 has brought so much to the industry at an affordable price level of just $650 in the US. It allows you to use six hot swappable keys and cameras with super quick switching, which is a huge upgrade, but also the almost zero latency over IP networking control for PTZ Optics cameras. Uh, our engineers have done such a great job with this product. Our hats are off to you guys, especially you, Matt Davis. Um, but OSD menu control, so much here that it really does, it really just makes the whole uh, workflow of IP camera control so much better. So we're going to talk about why you should upgrade your Gen 2 and Gen 1s to up to Gen 3. Again, to add on to uh, the whole process today, we're going to go over the original features with the Gen 3 joystick itself. If you haven't purchased it yet, we'll make sure that you know why people are so excited about this product. Yes, and this, this stream is for you, Chad Wilpitz, out there watching live. And any of you, let us know if you have a Gen 1 or a Gen 2 you've been waiting to upgrade. The big deal is the Gen 1s and Gen 2s relied on a protocol called Visca. And it worked, and it was good, but it really wasn't ever designed for high-end video production. Visca over IP is, and it will allow us to switch quickly between cameras, get really great responsive controls, pan, tilt, and zoom all at the same time. Plus, if we have time today, we're going to go over some of the really great new features like one button hold to set presets. You don't even have to go into the IP interface to uh, assign presets to cameras. So a lot of great upgrades here that we'll talk about. When... Uh... When we're done with this, we want to make sure that you guys get right on getting your upgrade because we only have about 100 new buttons in stock at the uh, at the uh, shop right now. So make sure after this show that you get in touch with our support team so that you can get this going before they run out. Yes, that's important. We only have 100 of the button packs that we're going to tell you guys about. So you got to contact support at ptzoptics.com. We're going to play a little video to walk you guys through the upgrade process so you guys have an idea of what you need to do. But uh, it's really simple and straightforward, so you guys will see that soon. We have spoken recently about a mystery stream that we were doing yesterday. So much fun. Crazy time, crazy experience. We learned a lot at Castle Bam a demolition event that he had with skaters all over the country hanging out, playing music. And we're going to share more about that experience with you on Monday's stream at Stream Geeks. All right. So just really quickly getting a couple questions in there before we play this video for you guys. It's going to break down a lot of the upgrade processes. One is, yes, it is Visca over IP. So there will be limited functionality for cameras that support Visca over IP. Sony, some of the other cameras out there, we haven't tested all of them yet. Maybe we'll make that a goal for 2019 to test a few more out there. Sure. It was designed for PTZ Optics cameras. So specific OSD menus, speed, and things of that nature are only going to work with our cameras. So you can buy one from b &H Photo or Amazon. Try it. Return it if you don't like it. But yes, it will work Visca over IP, and it might actually save the day for you if you're willing to accept limited functionality with other brands. So let's show a quick video to show you guys how quickly and easily you can upgrade your Gen 1 and Gen 2 cameras to or Gen 3 Gen 2 joysticks to Gen 3. <laughs> Sorry. 
The first thing to do when you are ready to upgrade your IP joystick from PTZ Optics is contact support at ptzoptics.com with an email titled PT Joy Button Upgrade Pack. Our support team will be happy to assist you in the process of upgrading your existing PT Joy Generation 1 or Generation 2 IP joystick controller. Inside this email, please be sure to include a valid serial number from your joystick for our team to reference in order to move forward. The upgrade process for a Generation one or two IP joystick will include a firmware upload and the purchase of a new button pack. The pack of joystick buttons will cost $30 plus shipping and handling. Our support team will be happy to help you process this payment and walk you through the installation process. Once you receive your new button pack in the mail, it's time to upgrade your joystick's firmware. Log into your joystick controller's IP interface by typing the unit's IP address into the search bar of a web browser. Enter the username admin and click the login button. Once you've entered the IP management interface of the joystick, click the settings cog in the right hand corner of your screen. Then you can click the upgrade button in the left hand side menu. Once you enter the upgrade page, click choose file and navigate to the provided firmware from our support team. The file you are looking for is C100-1 underscore PTJoy-G3 two zero one eight seven zero six zero six dot CSF. Once you have selected this, you can click the start button to open the file. Please be patient while these files upload. The device will reboot and do not shut down the device during this process. After completion, refresh your browser page. After refreshing, you may still see the Generation 1 or Generation 2 interface. Clear your cookies and cache to view the G3 interface. Now you can log in again and you will see the new interface. It's now time to remove the old buttons and replace them with your new button pack. You can use a blunt butter knife to do this. Leverage the butter knife safely under each key with a napkin to protect the face of the keyboard. As you leverage the butter knife under each key, they will pop off as you push the knife down, applying pressure to the underside of each key. Once all of your keys have been replaced, you can start using your new upgraded IP joystick. Congratulations, you've now successfully upgraded your IP joystick to support the latest generation three low latency camera controls designed specifically for your PTZ Optics cameras. Happy streaming. Okay, this just in from one of our lead engineers. He wants me to note that to remember, if you upgrade your PT Joy, uh, your IP joystick, this will disable all OnVIF capabilities okay. by switching all communications to Visca over IP. So if you're using the old generation one and two joysticks with OnVIF cameras, potentially, uh, then this will disable that. So keep in mind. Just be aware. Be aware. This was designed for PTZ Optics cameras. You you and, and also the other thing to think about too, if you remember this one, is that you need to have the latest firmware on your camera as well. So if your if your camera doesn't have the latest firmware, uh, you're probably gonna want to update that as well. But again, from the beginning here, we're talking about sending an email to support. If you have a Gen One or Gen Two joystick, they will get you the firmware and they will let, ask you, you know, what um, you know firmware do you have on your camera? Let's see if we can get that up to date to the to support all the new features. So with that being said, uh, if we have any questions in the chat room, we're going to answer them now. Let's see. Sure. Do we get any? I have one question here for you from Jacob. Okay. Jacob says, how can I be sure that my Minray PTZ camera fully work with the IP joystick? Um, that camera will not work with this joystick. Um, it's not designed for that camera, so it won't work. Sorry. Question as well from Jacob: Can Visca IP messages user modify? Be user be modified. modified? No, they cannot. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and switch to the camera that can be zoomed around. Uh, Mike, you know this one here. All right, so I just wanted to show really quickly, uh, you know, the the camera and just just because people were really interested in the pan tilt and zoom. So here we go. We can pan, tilt, and zoom it at the same time if we need to. You can see that there. And it's just super smooth and easy to use. So I wanted to show that. The other thing that I wanted to show is the ability to um, take off a key. So I wanted to show just really quickly. It, it mentioned that in the um, system there, we want to possibly t pop off a few keys. And the reason why we're doing that is because there will be keys that need to be removed because maybe you know this is the layout for 
our um, buttons here, but we uh, they're different on the Gen 2 and Gen 1s. Got it. So we need to actually replace them with those new keys you're going to get. And I'm just going to quickly show you guys here. You so saw in the butter knife. So easy, you can just, do it with a butter knife. Just pop it out. Boop. Just get that out of there. Yeah, all right just there, Paul. Just that plastic key part. Uh. There. Boom. Got it out. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to show that there how easy that is. You can see that little button there. It's just a little button. So, so I'm just going to take take like. one here, but um, I'm going to go ahead and answer, hit that back. So Look you said that it, this won't work with MinRay cameras. No, it's going to work with any other PTC cameras. We got to no, request it's not. A new it's tech. only designed PTC. for PTC Optics cameras. If you, you, know, you if go. you buy one, it, it, you, it's really just try your own risk. Okay. All right. So let's go to the po the post show podcast now. We've answered all the questions that are I in the chat. Good, yeah, absolutely. So we're gonna go to our post show podcast, and we'll see you guys. Oh, later. Yeah, one more question. You want to? Okay. Okay. Rick says, "Will the new Gen three PC interface have speed settings, like pan, zoom, speed settings, or is it only on the joystick itself?" Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and show this really quickly. So um, what I'm gonna do is. Uh, pull up so on the joystick itself just so we're, we're clear there's uh pan tilt and zoom speeds and focus speeds and well, what about the web interface on here i don't know if that's what he's talking about so all of that is available now on the um on the the camera you can also have access to those does that answer the question i believe so let me pull it up for you one more time just so we can be sure that we're getting uh the exact information here. Okay. This is going to answer that really quickly. <laughs> it's a funny question from Ken. Will the Gen 3 joystick control the 4K Z cam? <laughs> what are you talking about? Will the PTZ be smoother? Uh, it is definitely a lot smoother. Uh, that's why I did want to show that one camera with just showing how responsive it is. Um, it's really smooth. Now, it now one of the things I'll show really quickly is, so the speed right now for panning is 24. So what I'd like to do is really take the pan down because that's where I see a lot of people, you know, tracking left and right. Let's take the pan down to like 15 and the tilt, I'm going to take all the way down to like four. And the reason why is a lot of times people have to track somebody left to right on a stage but they don't necessarily want it to go up and down too much, right? They just need it to follow left to right. So by taking those speeds down, now check this out. Now, so when I control this camera, it's got like a little bit of a slower, but look at the tilt, ready? Much slower, mm. even at the maximum layer. So that kind of protects your volunteers from going off, off kilter. In fact, I'm just going to turn the speed down from a 15 pan to maybe like a six. All right, now look how slow the pan is. There's the pan. And even if I go up, the tilt is much slower. So you have a lot of abilities to go fast or slow, and you can kind of find exactly what you want to do. Kyle says, can you get the firmware without the button pack? No, uh, I don't believe so. Alrighty, I think that covers all of our questions for today. We hope that you guys find this new addition helpful and that this is exactly what you've been looking for as Gen 1 and Gen 2 IP joystick owners. And we will see you guys in the post-show podcast momentarily. All right. See you guys soon.